I'm delighted to be with you all tonight, and it's my honor to lead the 75th anniversary toast. This year, 75 years after the first nuclear catastrophe at Hiroshima, we are closer to midnight than we have ever been. And with the advance of technology since 1945, a nuclear war today would dwarf the devastation inflicted on Hiroshima. I've been on the Bulletin's Board of Sponsors for 13 years and as chair since 2018. For 75 years, the Bulletin has served as a guide, helping to ensure that science and technology advance global safety and security, not threaten it. Throughout its tenure, the Bulletin has served as an invaluable link between the scientific community, the policy experts, and the engaged public. Its mission is at least as important today as it was at its founding 75 years ago. We need a strong and successful bulletin. Science and technology are moving faster than our ability to control them. We need a place to turn to engage in the ethical and political challenges that they throw at us. I know you agree. And that is why you're here with us tonight. And for that, I thank you. The Bulletin tackles some of the hardest and most important issues. Those of you who have attended past Bulletin dinners know that I'm very concerned about the fast changing nuclear landscape, the rising risk of misperception and blunder, and the continued risk posed by letting New START, the last vanguard of nuclear arms control, <clears throat> expire in just a few short months. In the 75 years since Hiroshima, a strong and entrenched establishment has grown supporting nuclear weapons and the dangerous policies that govern the deployment and use of nuclear weapons. This has led to the deployment of over 1,500 weapons in the United States and a comparable amount in Russia, more than enough, more than enough to destroy civilization on our planet. We have avoided that destruction through good luck and through thoughtful leaders. But we cannot simply forget, take it for granted that we will always have thoughtful leaders. This very week, we are undergoing a serious challenge, the peaceful transfer of power, which has been the key to our democracy enduring for more than two centuries. I hope and pray that reason will prevail and that our democracy will continue. And I have confidence that our military, the US military, will not take any illegal actions that could threaten our democracy. I support the bulletin because it is one of the world's strongest voices of reason in this dangerous world. And even though a nuclear free world seems like an impossible dream, we must not give up that dream. The future of our children and our grandchildren depend on what we can do to achieve that dream. So please join me and raising a glass to the bulletin of the atomic scientists and to our wonderful leader, Rachel Bronson. Here, here.